So let's see the next question. A nucleus at rest splits into two nuclear parts having radii in the ratio 1 as to 2. So their velocities are in the ratio. So what is that ratio? So I know that rho is equals to mass upon volume. Again, I can say further. So that means your mass is proportional to volume. So I can say that m1 by m2 is equals to v1 by v2. And again, I know that v is equals to that is a 4 by 3 pi r cube. So even I can say so that is a m1 by m2. So this is nothing but you can say proportionality constant r1 cube and again upon r2 cube over here. So the next thing that we can say so the radius so that is m1 by m2 so we can say that so the radius is 1 by 2 so this is your 1 by 2 whole cube so this is nothing but 1 by 8 and i know that so their velocities so m1 v1 is equals to m2 v2 their momentum so then i can say so from this particular case so m1 by m2 is equals to v2 by v1 so m1 by m2 i know that so it is a 1 by 8 so they're asking me so their velocity is in the ratio so v1 by v2 so v1 by v2 you can say that it is a 8 upon 1 so your option b is correct for this particular case over here so let's say the next question for this particular case so a bob of mass m is suspended by a massless string of length l the horizontal velocity v at position a is just sufficient to make it reach the point b the angle theta at which the speed of the bob is half of that a satisfy the which of the following equation now this is a case of your circular motion where if i want that if it is completing that one complete circle so definitely the velocity at the bottom you can say that so that is a square root of 5 gl so I can say that so this is a half mv square so this is nothing but your 5g l again further I can say that so mg so it is going to attain a certain height so what is that height so this is nothing but you can again say that so this is l minus l cos theta so this is you can say that l minus l cos theta over here again further so this is nothing but your half and again v square again v is nothing but what so that is nothing but v by 2 so the v is nothing but you can say that so this is your square root of 5 gl divided by 2 whole square so this is a this one so you can say further so this is your half m 5 gl again you can say mgl you can take common so this is a 1 minus cos theta again further you can say so for this particular case over here so we have to just simplify the things for this particular case so even so let's say i will just take it over here so that is a 5 gl divided by 2 whole square so if i just do it on this side so let's say so that is your half m 5 gl so this is a half m 5 gl then we have written mg l common 1 minus cos theta and again plus half m v square so i know that so obviously that is your v square so this is your 5 g l so square root of 5 g l so that will become your 5 g l and again so that is your divided by 4 so divided by 4 over here so that is how I can just write it down the things over here so 5 g m l divided by 2 again I can say that so this is your m g l 1 minus cos theta again this is you can say that half yeah so 5 m g l divided by 4 so you can say that what are the different things which are getting cancelled over here so even I can write it down so instead of this small l you can take it as a capital L or vice versa also so you can say that even for this particular case over here so your mgl is getting cancelled throughout 
so this is nothing but we are 5 by 2 so 1 minus cos theta again you can say that so obviously 5 by 8 so that is how I can write it down so this is nothing but we are 5 by 2 minus 5 by 8 is nothing but 1 minus cos theta so then definitely again this is multiplied by 4 so 20 minus 5 so 15 so 15 by 8 1 minus cos theta over here so 1 minus 15 by 8 is equals to cos theta so cos theta is equals to you can say that 8 minus 15 yeah so that is a minus 7 so theta you will get around 152 yeah so you can say that so that 152 lies between your 135 to 180 so you can say your option D is correct for this particular case.